Hello and welcome to this short video on defining web sources on REST endpoints using Oracle Apex. So I've gone to this public site, USGS, which shows JSON files for earthquakes within the last period of time. And I'm just going to select this one here for all earthquakes. And I need to select this URL and you'll see that Chrome's formatted this nicely for me, showing me the magnitude where this happened, for example, in Nevada. And I'm going to now go across into my application builder in Apex. I've got this simple little application which currently has no pages. Before I create any pages, I'm just going to define a shared component and a web source module. From scratch, I'll give it a name. drop in the URL and now you'll see that it's broken up that URL into the base URL and a service URL path for me and if need be I could incorporate authentication there's a public REST API so I'm just going to click discover at this point the Apex engine is going to go and review the JSON document and define the columns within that document so I can actually create the web source on top of it now I can go back into my application and start creating pages. So the first one I want to create is just a report. And instead of selecting a local database table or REST enabled SQL service, I'm going to select a web source, earthquakes, click on create. If I have a look here, here's all my columns. I just want to get rid of a number of these just so that I can see the data easier. Uh, let me get rid of the ones all the way down here to the type. Again, I'm just going to hide all those. OK, so let me save this and run the page. I first need to log in. And here's my report showing me all the earthquakes that have happened in the last seven days. And I can see that they've been happening in California, Nevada, and so forth. There's also a feature in Apex called Faceted Search. So what I've done is gone back to the application homepage. And let's create a Faceted Search. So I'm going to create a Faceted Search. Be very creative. Call it Search. Next, I want a navigation menu entry. And again, select Web Source. And here's all the different columns that I can select. You'll see that magnitude isn't in here. I can take care of that in a minute. But the one I really want is place. Let's go and create this page. And let's go and add in a new facet. So I want to include magnitude. And that column was called mag. And it's going to be a range type. Oops, I spelled that wrong. So we'll call it magnitude. And then I want to define static values. And let me go and put those in. So I want less than 1. I want between 1 and 3. Between 3 and 5. And greater than 5. The last thing I need to do is actually scroll down and check the data source. It's actually specified as varchar, so I'll change that to number. And let's go and run this faceted search. So you'll see the various values given here and the locations, and I can expand that out to see a number of different locations. So for example, I might want to see everything that's happening up in this part of Alaska, and it'll show just those 62 records. And you'll notice that the magnitude has dropped because there's only small earthquakes happening up there. I might want to be doing just the large ones. And we can see where these are happening. In fact, I've got way too many columns here. So let me just quickly go and change that report as well. Again, go down, select a number of columns. Hide them.
and then unhide these last few. Okay. So that's much better. Now I can see exactly where these earthquakes over five have been happening in the last seven days. Thank you very much for watching this video on defining web sources against REST APIs. And you'll notice that I didn't have to type in all the columns. I could just do the discovery to find those columns within the JSON document, and then very quickly and easily be able to build all sorts of Apex components, including various types of reports, forms, charts, calendars, and so forth on top of these web sources.